What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Katie. I'm a first time mom to our daughter Chloe who is six months. I'm going to share with you everything from her newborn days all the way to six months. Things that we just really love or Chloe just really loves to play with and what has really worked the best for us. I know that every baby is completely different. I just thought I would share the things that worked for us in hopes that if you're pregnant or if you just had a new baby that maybe this would help you guys out and I will link everything down below in the description so that you guys can check it all out. So I made a list on my phone of all of the things that I could think of. I currently have 15 items that are our absolute like must-haves, favorites, things that we'll use for our next baby. I really wanted to consolidate it to things that we use every day or used to use every day when she was a newborn. Without further ado, number one is literally just the brand Love Every in general, but specifically their play kits. When I was pregnant, I put the play gym on our registry, but I didn't realize that this brand also has subscription play kits which is so amazing especially for that zero to six month age where there's really not a lot of toys marketed for that age so love every will send you play kits specifically for whatever developmental stage they're at which is amazing because the toys that they include in these play kits they look so simple which is why they work out so well these are Montessori inspired toys which I actually really love I feel like Chloe plays the most with these kinds of toys which you would think that the toys with all of the bells and whistles the sounds and everything babies would love but I see her definitely reaching for these toys first because I feel like they're not as overstimulating not as overwhelming and it's great because it's always geared towards whatever stage she's at so she is currently playing with the five to six month box and she loves it so much and I also love how this brand includes a stack of cards with ways that you can play with these toys how you can really engage your child or your baby just give you new and different ideas for playing with them. It also just really keeps her interested too. As far as toys go, I would highly recommend Love Every because we also really love their play gym. That is one of the things that I was so excited to set up while I was pregnant. And it's easily been one of Chloe's favorite toys since she was probably about two months old. There's so many amazing features to it. And one of the things that I was trying to do when I was building my registry while I was pregnant is registering for toys that can grow with her. So most play mats are a little bit lower to the ground and this one is high enough that she'll be able to sit underneath it because she is practicing to sit up soon. So she's still going to be able to use this play mat. She's also discovering that on all the sides there are different sensory things, things that she likes to touch and feel, a teething ring, hide and seek, like there's all kinds of games incorporated into this mat. So yeah, this will be another toy that I will save for our next baby because it is truly worth the investment. Also, this play mat and ends up turning into a tent, which I'm very excited for when she's a little bit older. Third thing on my list is the Skip Hop Activity Center. This is another favorite main toy of Chloe's. You can use this from four months and up. And another one of those toys that I added to my registry, knowing that I wanted to get something that grew with her because not only is this a great kind of like bouncer activity table, you can take the bottom part of this and put it on top of it. So it makes a table when they're a toddler or when they're cruising around the front furniture truly grows with her. This is easily currently one of Chloe's favorite toys. She is obsessed with this thing and it's really helpful for me because sometimes I'm solo parenting. Andrew might not be around and I can put her in it and I can easily cook dinner and she is so entertained. She loves this toy so much. Number four, this is something that really helped us out in her newborn days, the Love to Dream Swaddle. I think I talked about this one in past vlogs. It truly saved our lives as far as sleeping goes with her. This one is one of those things where every baby is different and you just have to figure out what they specifically like. But Chloe really loved to sleep with her arms up, which is what this swaddle does for her. The only other swaddle that we used was the Halo Swaddle, which straps their arms down and I don't think she was really a fan. She was constantly squirming around. Even though it's Velcro and it seems easy to put them in it, it was still really difficult to kind of like wrap her in it and get it nice and tight for her in the middle of the night especially. So we really love the Love to Dream because it zips both ways. You can just zip her up. She's good to go. She's ready for bed, especially for those middle of the night diaper changes. And she slept way better in this. Number five, this goes right along with it because this is something that we use that drastically 
drastically changed her sleeping at night. The Tommy Tippy pacifiers were the only ones that she would take. They are really just ones that work for her really well. We also love getting the glow in the dark ones specifically because now that she's kind of learning to reach for her passy, she can find them in the dark very easily. It was also way easier for us and I wasn't like waking her up trying to search for her passy in the night. Also having to do with sleep number six is sleep sacks. We specifically love the Burt's Bees ones. You can get them on Amazon. Also recently we switched to the Copper Pearl sleep sack. Both of these sleep sacks zip from the top to the bottom, which is crucial for doing any sort of diaper change in the middle of the night if you have to. Just another one of those things that like has really helped her sleep. It's basically like a cozy wearable blanket for her. Next one is maybe a little bit controversial. I got some blackout curtains from Amazon for her bedroom that have really worked out well. They're really nice quality and they're the most affordable that I have found. I did not know that they can run for like $60 even at Target. We got a really nice set of them on Amazon. They come in several different colors and they're just your basic blackout curtain. Like they do a really good job of keeping her room nice and dark. They look really nice. I know that some people don't like to use them because they want their baby to sleep anywhere. And at first I was kind of trying to go by that method. I didn't want Chloe to get used to always having a dark room, but because her bedroom gets so much sunlight during the day, I just decided to go for it and get her the blackout curtains and it has really worked well for us. Next product is something that I really didn't think I would need, but has been an absolute must have for me is the Solly Baby Wrap. This wrap carrier has literally saved my life. It is so worth every single penny. Anytime I wrap Chloe in this, she gets so snugly and goes right to sleep. Especially in the summer months, this wrap is perfect because the fabric is nice and lightweight. It's a little bit stretchy, but not too stretchy. So it holds her in nice and tight. And I've never felt like she was too loose in it. She felt really snug. Anytime that we have been out in public and I need Chloe to take a nap and I want her to have like a really good solid nap, I've just put her in this baby wrap carrier and she has done so well. This girl has taken like solid two hour naps in it, especially if you have a Velcro baby that likes to be stuck to you at all times and you just wanna get things done around the house. Highly, highly recommend this carrier because it's comfortable for you and baby. While the wrap style does seem intimidating with figuring out how to put it on, it really is not as difficult as it seems. They have so many different tutorials on how to use it. I think it's a really good investment definitely something to put on your registry if you're pregnant. Next few items I want to share with you guys are some breastfeeding favorites. First thing being the Hakka. You guys might have heard of this, but if you haven't, it basically just goes on the opposite side that baby's not feeding on. It catches your letdown. This is really good for building a freezer stash. I used this in Chloe's early days and it helped me out so much. I think it also really helped with my milk production in general because it, in a way, it acts as a pump as well. A lot of people complain about it falling off so to prevent that from happening i just fold the top part down then i squeeze this bottom part and then you let it go and it stays on really well i know that they have also come out with hakas that have a suction on the bottom of it so it doesn't tip over but another tip is to take a mug and put your haka in it and then it's not going to tip or fall over and you're not going to spill your milk because we all know that it is liquid gold and spilling your milk is one of the saddest things ever i feel like most moms know about nursing pillows i've used the boppy i really love the boppy it's just one of those simple things i still use to this day with chloe but if you don't know what the boppy is basically it's a big pillow that wraps around your waist and just makes it super comfy for breastfeeding and i highly recommend taking it with you to the hospital but there are also several other different uses for the boppy it's really great for tummy time it's great for helping your baby with practicing sitting up so so many uses not even just for nursing i think at this point i've kind of lost track with how many items we are at but the mom cozy s12 pro wearable pump is one of my absolute favorite like breastfeeding pumping must-haves i've talked about it in several other different videos so i'll try to keep it short a little bit if you are pumping or find yourself pumping a lot i highly recommend these they are the most affordable highly rated pumps so i found myself pumping a lot especially when chloe was about like zero to four months and it was getting really difficult andrew was away for work a lot and 
I was home alone by myself with her. These pumps make it super easy to get things done around the house. You can pick baby up and hold them. You can also feed them and pump at the same time. Just being able to multitask as a mom is so important. I honestly, I don't think I've touched my Spectra in a very long time. Something very simple, but also a must have to put on your baby registry or to have for your baby are burp cloths. I found the brand Comfy Cubs on Amazon and have really loved their products. Their burp cloths are great. They're nice and big. They're made out of a super soft muslin material and they're also very absorbent. We also really love their towels for her bath time and I love all of the different colors that they have. Love the Comfy Cubs brand on Amazon. I will also link those down below. Something else that I wasn't really sure how much we would use is a car diaper caddy. This has been so nice for whenever we go out. I don't always have to pack a full diaper bag, which is so nice for me. I can still bring like a little Lululemon belt bag. I don't have to worry about packing diapers, wipes, all the things in my bag every time we leave the house, which honestly, it's already so stressful when I'm leaving the house with a baby and having to worry about bringing everything with me that it's really nice to not have to worry about our main essential which is diapers and wipes i also put in a shirt for me a shirt for andrew in case we get spit up anything on us and then also an extra change of clothes for chloe that way i am always prepared and i'm never worried about that i want to share with you guys our favorite baby bouncer there are other brands like baby bjorn that are very similar to this brand but this one is definitely way cheaper we did start off by buying chloe a fisher price one because it had like a vibration mode on it some sounds which we never really used and I honestly wish I would have just really bought this one first because we have been loving it. I didn't buy this one until she was probably about four months, which is kind of sad because this has been one of our favorites. So she just straps into here. You can also adjust like how tight it is. Chloe still fits into this thing. I think it goes up to 20 pounds. So she might be growing out of it soon. I need to weigh her because she is getting so big. This is the Baby Delight Bouncer on Amazon. It's got this nice breathable mesh for her so she doesn't overheat. But one of the things that I really love about this bouncer that I wish we would have gotten it for the fact that this easily collapses and it comes with a bag with a handle on it so it's a nice carrying case and you can take it with you on the go because this thing has been so nice i've taken it to the dance studio with me when i've had to take her to work she just loves sitting in it she's kind of like figuring out just now how to kick her legs and make herself bounce chloe just woke up from her nap so you might hear her in the background but i want to share with you guys the last thing that we use literally every single day with her and we love it's her stroller we have the Chico Corso LE stroller. We just have a regular Chico card. What What are you do? You want to play topper? Okay. okay. <laughs> I know that there's a lot of Chico strollers out there that go with her car seat, but I wanted to get something that was a little bit nicer because again, it's something that we're going to use for several years and it's going to grow with her. I was really planning on going on lots of walks and I wanted something that was nice to encourage me to get outside and something that I would enjoy using and i realized that a stroller is something that you use topper has the zoomies right now but it's something that you use every single day i wanted to get something that was like <laughs> we'll wait topper we'll wait you can see it has the car seat adapter i just make sure that the wheels are straight first because it won't collapse if you don't but see how easy that was and then it stands up on its own it's so easy to just pop right back up just like that they come with the cup holder right here and then there's also two cup holders in the bottom storage part we put the other piece of the stroller on you just click on the car seat adapter slide it out and then you have the other seat, which I think just slides right in. I have not done this in a super long time because we just used her infant car seat, but also that was really easy to figure out. And it looks really nice. You can have it facing out this way, or you can just take this and have it face you. But this also has a pocket back here and also a zipper for extra storage. I know that this also can Recline. So if you want your baby laying flat, you can do that or sitting all the way up or somewhere in between. Let me move the car seat out of the way 
because I want to show you guys how easily this thing maneuvers around. I can get in and out of doors so easily like with one hand. And that is it you guys for today's video. I hope you found this somewhat helpful. And if you guys are already a parent to a baby older than six months, let me know what your favorite products are for six to 12 months and what you really recommend. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all next time.